everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm going to show you this card that I saw on Pinterest. A lady called Jackie shared it. And then when I scrolled down under that, you kind of see all other cards similar. And it looked like it had come from an old tattered lace die. It was about six, seven years ago. Some of you might have it. So this is my take on that style. You can see that you've got this concertina spring on the side here, which just pops open. And then it's held together with this piece. And you've got your space on the back there to write your message. And this one will all fold down into a five by seven size. It just screams, obviously, Art Deco. And I had these Art Deco papers, which I'll show you in a moment. And then I finished it with that sweet little bird. And then the thank you sentiment on the front there. So it's an easy style to make. So let's get started. OK, so the products that I've used are the Creative Craft Products Modern Sentiments. You've got all these different themed ones here. I've used this embossing folder here, which is Creative Craft Products. It's the Diamond 3D embossing folder. The bird is from the RSPB Tropical Birds. And then the papers are from this Art Deco pad by Textures by Lou Collins. But I've also got this one and I thought the peacocks would look really nice as well. But I don't think this one is available, but I believe this one possibly still is. Um, again, I'll share all the links below anyway. You have a look. It's going to work with any theme. I thought it would look really nice as maybe like a mirror because you don't have to have... This is a triangle, this could be an oval or a square, any shape really, flowers, and then you could have all leaves coming out the sides or something. So I think it's gonna work for lots of different occasions. You don't have to do Art Deco. I made this one during a Facebook Live and I did say Art Deco isn't really my style. I've loved making this card, but I certainly wanna revisit it with maybe some different shapes. So for the base, you want a piece of seven by eight. If you wanna make yours as a six by six, then you'll want a piece of six by eight. This seven inch is the width of the card. So whatever width you like your cards to be, cut that to that size. But you wanna make sure you've got it eight because that's the concertina. So along that eight inch side, you're gonna score it every one inch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You then wanna fold, so you start with a mountain, then a valley, mountain, valley, mountain, valley, and finish with a mountain. You wanna have four mountains and three valley folds. OK, you'll then want this piece here, which is for the top. And this is 10 by four. The width of this can be whatever you want. If you want it for it to be a six by six, then this will be a piece of 12 by four. So my 10 inch piece, I'm scoring at five. But again, if you're doing it for a six by six, then yours will be 12. So you're going to score through the middle at six. Whatever length of card you've got, you want to score it halfway. So when that's folded in half, that's now the height of your card. OK, so whatever the height of your card is, double it, score through the middle. Hopefully this is explaining how to make it in different sizes. But just to give you an example here of a different shape, you don't have to now cut that into a triangle, which I'm going to do. You could stick the square on and then have the different squares coming out the side. This could be a diamond shape, an oval, like I said, all different sizes. You could have it slightly off to one side. You could have things stuck in here kind of popping up. I mentioned maybe some butterflies and bees and have like a spring card. So there's lots of scope for this one. And then just give that a good burnish. And then all the rest of the mats and layers, which I'll go through in a moment. OK, so if you want to decorate this piece, I'll do it now before you stick anything else on. So I've already embossed this piece here with that embossing folder. And this is three quarters of an inch by six and three quarters. So again, whatever length, just drop it down by a quarter of an inch increment, just so you get that nice equal border there. So that's all stuck down. So then you want this piece, you want the folded part at the top and you're going to mark along the open end halfway. So this is four inches, so I'm going to mark it two. Now you can use scissors if you would prefer. I'm going to use my trimmer and I'm going to cut from the top left and right corner here on the fold down to that pencil mark. You're going to cut through both layers. Like so. Now keep all of these pieces because you're going to be using them for the sides. But now we've got the middle of our card. So it'll be quite flimsy at the moment, but we'll sort all that out once we start building it up. It becomes very strong. OK, so with these ones here, you're going to have two for the left and two for the right. OK, so next I want to add my mats and layers for this front piece. So this gold piece here is three and five eighths by four and three eighths. And along the short side, you just want to mark halfway. So you want to mark just, it's just in between five and three quarters and five and seven eighths. So just a little mark on your ruler 
in the middle. If you struggle to get the middle, just fold it in half like so and just pinch the end because we're going to be cutting right down to that. And again, keep all these pieces because you can use those to cover the sides. Okay, so that's the matte layer. And I've then got this piece here. I've cut it so that I could get this design like right through the middle. And this one is, you want it to be just over three really, like three and one eighth by four. And again, along the bottom, just mark the middle. So it's going to be just over one and a half. And again, just cut from the corners there. So that's those. So I'll stick them on there in a moment. And then for these pieces here, okay, so I just want to break this down for you. So what you want to do is cut yourself two pieces of gold card or whatever you're using for your mat layer that are one and three quarter by four and a quarter. And on this one, I've cut from the top left down to the bottom right. And they're both going to go on top of these ones. Okay. And then this one here, I've cut this one too short for some reason, but it doesn't matter because you're not going to see the points. But this one you want to cut from the top right down to the bottom left so that when you turn them, they're both going to fit like so. And then with the pattern paper, you want to cut yourself a piece of one and three eighths by three and three quarter. And you're going to cut one from the top left down to the bottom right. So that will go on this side. And then again, the same, but this time from the top right down to the bottom left. And then they will go over those ones. So I'm going to stick all the mats and layers down and then I'll be back and show the construction. OK, so I've got everything ready. You want to open this one up. Now, I've got them this way, but you can I'm just thinking it's that way that I did them. So just flip them over. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, you can have it either way. You can have that in front as well, but I'm going to set it behind. So what I did is I came down about three quarters of an inch and I had about one inch sticking out but again it's up to you what i would say is whatever you stick down you just want to match that on the other side so don't worry if yours are slightly different measurements to me just follow what you've done on both sides so once you've got that in place you want to bring this around so that it lines up this side lines up with the point you're going to snip that end off in a minute yeah it's about there so i'm just going to grab my glue pop some there Liquid glue, I find, will be best for this because you've got that wiggle wiggle room. And I can just bring that in a little bit. So I'll show you this side and then I'll get the other one done. Okay, so that's all in place. And I'm just going to add a little glue down that side. You don't need much. And then again, bring that down. It's about three quarters again and one inch, there we go. So I'm happy with that side. You wanna make sure it all lines up there. And then you can just snip across, snip each one at a time if you want, as you stick them down. You can see now we've got that nice point. So now I'm just gonna match this side. So I add my glue, just doing exactly the same thing. So yours might be coming out a lot more. It will all depend on, you know, what your initial shape is to start with. Now you can stick this either side of this concertina piece. So what I like to do is just lay your ruler down on here and just mark at three and a half. So I'm just putting a dent, little mark there on that embossed piece. And I'm going to use a little bit of red tape at the bottom here. There's going to be no... That will be enough to hold it. There's no like real pressure on this. It's not pulling on anything. And then I'll use liquid glue on the back. And then just pop the back over there for the minute and use a, a use a track on your board, on your mat. I will lay a ruler down. And then I want to line it up with the marker. And then just bring it up. And again, I'm making sure that this is nice and straight with those lines, because it's quite easy to stick this on crooked. Like 
and I'm happy with that. And then I'm just going to take my quick grab glue just on the end of that side and then stick that down. To cover the back there, just cut the gold piece there in white and stick it. But now we've got a really fun card shape. So then I'm going to finish it with my bird and the thank you. So I've popped this up on foam, I've heat embossed it on the navy card and then I've stuck it onto another piece of gold and then just cut around that. And then these are just cut in the navy and then stuck the gold behind. So I'm gonna do exactly the same positioning as I've done with the other one. I'm using black foam tabs because it's quite a dark card. You don't see those. And then again with the sentiment. Okay, so there's the finished card. Love it. I think it's so cool. Like I said, I'm definitely going to revisit this in some different sizes and I've got an idea for a different kind of orientation. But I just love the effect. I definitely think they'd look great if this was all mirror and then you had some like perfume and makeup and things along the bottom. You could put a you know special birthday number in the middle or something there. So I hope you've enjoyed this fun card style from me today. As always, everything I've used will be linked in the description box below. I'll share some other triangular and pointy cards because you might want to watch one of those next. And if you've enjoyed today and you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell and that way you won't miss out on any future tutorials. See you all again soon. Bye.